Okay, una, hindi po ito networking. Pangalawa, wala po akong binibenta. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hello, hello. My name is Mika and I'm a vlogger from the Philippines. I don't know if I'm qualified to call myself a vlogger yet. So let's just say I'm a weirdo from the Philippines. Anyway, for starters, this video isn't meant to brag. I just really want to give you guys tips on how you can save money without depriving yourself. So how do I save money? I live by three simple rules and so far, these rules have helped me save money kahit na matakaw ako, maggala ako, magastos ako, mashopping ako. Yes, guys, magastos ako ng tao. Alam yan ng friends ko, ng family ko, and lalong lalo na ng office mates ko. Diba? Shopee pa more! <laughs> okay, so the three rules I mentioned First is, certain amount for me is off-limits. So, from my title, nakita nyo, sinabi ko na I saved 6,000 in less than 2 months. And that's true. The 6K, or almost 7K, I saved is actually puro tag for 50 pesos. So, ayan siya. It's all 50 pesos. Ayan. And automatic sa akin, pag 50 pesos, hindi ko na siya ginagastos. I started doing this when I was in college. Now, in college, hindi ko kaya mag-save ng 50 pesos kasi hindi kaya ng allowance. And pag art student ka kasi, medyo every week may gastos ka sa art materials, plates, printing, etc. So, hindi kaya if mag-save ako ng 50 pesos. What I do is 10 pesos na buo. So, whenever nakakuha ko ng 10 pesos na buo, automatic, hindi ko siya ginagastos. Diretso na siya sa coin bank ko. And, kunyari, nasa labas ako, tapos may 10 pesos ako, tapos may buo pa ako. Hindi ko talaga gagastosan yung 10 pesos. Doon lang ako sa buo gumagastos. Pinapabarihan ko na siya. Okay lang mabarihan siya. Huwag ko lang magastos yung 10 pesos. Yung gantong thinking, rule number one actually helped me na maging disciplined when it comes to handling my money. So, nag-start siya na certain amount hindi ko ginagastos, ganyan. And then right now, what I do is meron na akong money sa bank na hindi ko talaga siya ginagastos. Bukod pa yun sa 50 pesos na iniipon ko. Ginagawa ko. So, if hirap kang mag-ipon, you can start by actually yun. Um, if meron kang 10 pesos, 50 pesos, 200, I suggest mga amount na hindi mo laging nakukuha. Kasi kung tag to 20 yan, tag to 5 pesos, Medyo may hirapan ka kasi common money siya na napupunta sa'yo. So, go with the money or amount na hindi madalas makuha. So, yun. So, rule number two. Every cut-off or sweldo, mag-iwan ka ng amount na alam mong hindi mo gagastusin or as much as possible hindi mo gagastusin. What I do is, every sweldo, nag-withdraw na ako ng isang bagsakan. So, nandun yung ambag ko sa house, pampasok ko, panggala ko, pang shopping, everything. And then, nag-iiwan ako sa banko. And as much as possible, hindi ko talaga siya ginagalaw. Now, if wala ka pang bank account, I suggest to get a coin bank na hindi siya nabubuksan. Pag ginagawa mo yun, dun mo napapansin na yung amount sa bank mo, lumalaki siya every cut-off or every month. And... Siguro isama mo na rin doon yung huwag mo dadalhin lahat ng money mo to prevent yourself from overspending. Kasi ako, ganun yung ginagawa ko. Hindi ko dinadala lahat ng money ko. Kasi magasas talaga akong tao and knowing na may laman yung wallet ko, matatemp at matatemp akong bumili. Kaya ang ginagawa ko talaga is nag-iiwan ako sa bahay, naglalagay ako sa coin bank, naglalagay ako sa ganito, sa ganyan, singkalat. And then pagka alam kong kulang na yung cash na dala ko, doon lang ako kumukuha ulit or nag-refill. Pero yun nga. Um, as much as possible, meron ka dapat hiwalay na savings. So, ba meron akong 50 peso savings and meron din akong savings sa bank every cut off. So, malaking tulong siya if you really want to save money. And again, if wala kang banko, alkan siya. Ako, nag-start na ako sa alkan siya. Third one, last one. Needs, wants, etc. Um, do not deprive yourself. Magtabi ka ng budget for food, for gala, for shopping, whatever. Reward yourself and never ever deprive yourself. But at the same time, dapat meron kang budget na hindi ka mag-overspend. So meron kang budget na pang walwal mo. Think about how you want to spend your budget, yung pang walwal mo, and spend it wisely, and never go overboard sa budget na yun. Yes, it's nice to reward yourself every now and then sa mga pinaghihirapan mo sa buhay, sa mga accomplishment mo sa buhay. Pero it's better if you don't go above what you can or what you can afford. I don't really believe in depriving myself para lang makaipon. Kasi pag ganun, mas nawawalan ako ng gana mag-ipon. What I do is, I spoil myself, I pamper myself, 
fair within the budget. So at the same time, nagiging smart ako when it comes to handling my money. So ayun, those are my three simple steps or rules or tips on how you can save money. Um, I do hope makatulong to sa inyo, lalo na if gusto mo mag-start mag-ipon, pero you do that. I hope makatulong to sa inyo, lalo na if you want to start na mag-ipon, pero you don't know how. Um, for those naman na magaling din mag-ipon or marunong mag-ipon, if you have tips kung paano kayo nag ipon do comment down below para makita rin ng ibang tao. Ayun! I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Yan. Drop by my channel. I have other videos. Thank you so much. Bye!